So guys, um, forgive any weather or sounds or anything that you may hear in the background. It's just one of those really, really weird weather days. Um, so I am here to talk to all of you wonderful, lovely Wonderland hands about a new type of scissor cutter, camera angles and shots. These are kind of important. Um, the way that a scene is angled and the way that it is shot tells you what goes on in the scene, how to feel about the scene, um, and sometimes if the scene doesn't have any dialogue, it tells you um, the emotions and it conveys to you everything in the scene without saying a word. It's no dialogue. Our first shots. Um, camera shots are not the um, are not the angle that you hold the camera in, but the exact shots of the camera, like um, your the, the camera's relationship to the actors. The camera has always acted as you the one seeing everything so it's your eyes and the way you were looking at the actors so the first shot we're going to talk about is the establishing or extreme wide shot now this shot shows you the entirety of the scene this shows you where the scene is taking place the extreme setup um of the um where your characters are. You can be taken outside of school, you can be taken outside of a building, in a neighborhood, aerial shots, whatever. That is the extreme wide or the establishing shot. It basically tells you where the story is ultimately taking place. Now let's pull the camera in a little bit closer and look at something else called the wide shot or the full body shot. This shot is more of the immediate scene. Um, this tells you where you are, where the actor is in relationship to the scene itself. This is also a full body shot of the actor or actors in said scene. So you can see more of them and they can, you know, you see more of what they are doing. Let's pull it a little bit closer. I talk about the medium shot. The medium shot is shot from the waist up on an actor um, or the actors in the scene. This shot show, still shows a lot of the actor's body, but you see it from the waist up. This is also called the cowboy shot because in westerns, if you notice, this is the shot where you can see them tingling around their waist where the holster is on the guns. Pretty neat shot. Put it even closer and go from the chest up. This is called the medium close up or the chest or the bust shot. Um, this is basically what I just said. You see the actor from the chest up. It's a little bit closer, it's not as close as the close up, but it's not showing you all of the actor's body. It's showing you from the chest up. Close up, head and shoulders, stop. That's all you need the head and shoulders for a uh, close-up shot. You're not punching into details of the actor or what is in the actor's hand or what is around them. You are just looking at the actor from the head, from the shoulders up. That's it. That's all you really need. Um, this is usually used in dialogue shots. So a lot of times you will see actors um, spewing their lines with a close-up shot or even a monologue. A lot of monologues are dream close-up. It's where the camera is punched all the way in where you can see the actors eyes, nose, mouth, lips, everything. You can even 
put an extreme close-up on someone's hands and see what they are looking like. Look at these little angles I have here. Um, extreme close-up is useful as part of a cutaway or cut-in or something like that. But we'll get to those angles in just a moment. Speaking of cut-ins, we have a cut-in. Um, a cut-in is when you look at an object that is relevant to the scene. So if your actor is looking at a tablet or a phone, you actually get the cut in of them looking at the phone and what is on the screen or just the, the phone itself. Um, you can have a cut in of an actor reading a book or looking at a laptop or typing on a keyboard, something of that nature. Cut ins are actually a very useful part of the storytelling process. A cut away is when your camera is, is when your shot is on your actor but then it cuts to another scene these are useful in things like phone conversations typing emails and messaging things like that back and forth to each other I actually used cutaways in my short film the texts where I had myself texting myself and I used cutaways to distinguish who we so these these shots can actually be doubled up on. The when we double up on a shot, it's called a two shot. When you have two actors in one shot, then there is the three shot that has three actors, and you can actually use these shots for more than just one or two or three actors. You can actually use this shot. You can actually use all of these shots with multiple actors. Um, four, five, six, seven, however many you can cram up in that frame, you do it, and you do it well. Um, angles is the way the camera is tilted or the way the camera looks in the frame. Not just the shot, but the angle of the shot also tells what goes on. First shot, the uh, first angle that I have done here is the Dutch angle. That's when you tilt the camera to the side. Um, a Dutch angle is used to disorient the actor, or not the actor, but disorient the viewer, i.e. you, um, and what's going on in the scene. The Dutch angle has been used in things like The Dark Knight and other various very, very wonderful major motion pictures, as well as a lot of short films. It's a disorient, it's a disorienting type of feel. You can also use it to show when an actor is walking upstairs the urgency of what they are approaching when they walk upstairs. It's a very useful shot. Um, eye level, when the camera is eye to eye with the actor. Um, this does not show any kind of uh, superiority or inferiority between of the actor themselves or the character that's being shot. It is you looking directly at the camera, you looking directly at the actor. If you notice in a lot of YouTube videos we watch, that happens. Like 99.953% of the time. When the YouTuber is looking right at the camera, they are doing it at an eye to eye level. Look at him right now! Hi, world. Um, the low angle. When you're shooting your scene with the camera low and it's shooting up at the actor, this gives the actor a feel of having power and control and being the downright bops. Yep, that's when. Um, that's when you know exactly who is calling all the shots in the scene. Now, an above, now an evil eye or high angle is when you're looking at the actor from top to bottom. This shows that the character is powerless or has less power or is probably not as important as the actor that you are shooting from. Um, a low angle. So, and this makes the character feel very small and in a box like that thing. Panning the camera means that you are moving the camera from left to right or right to left depending on um, which way you
you are starting. Panic can be done on a dolly. Panic can be done with a slider. Panic can even be done handheld. If you actually watch a lot of shots of done panning, especially in commercials when they are showing products and product placements. And finally, the tilt. This is when you're moving the camera up to down. Um, You are showing something from the top to the bottom, or from the bottom to the top. It's actually, yeah, it's used a lot when you're showing an actor. Um, it's used in movies a lot when you see an actor who is coming from downstairs. It's usually this coupled with a pan shot, like in She's All That. She has her makeup face prominent. She looks gorgeous in her dress. She's walking down the stairs, and you see the camera tilt from the top of her head to her shoes, and then back up, because that is what Freddie Prinze's character is doing. He's going wow, and he's looking at her from the top to the bottom. That's usually what I tilt. That's usually what I tilt she is doing. Um. Hey guys, there's actually one more camera shot that I forgot to mention in this video it is called the over the shoulder it is when you literally put the camera behind your actor and you can see everything over their shoulder just like what I just said it's over the shoulder you see it a lot in the conversations and dialogue between two actors and sometimes it conveys a closeness or urgency in that scene. So, without further ado, back to your original video. In most questionable ways, <laughs> the different angles of the different types of shots used in um, filmmaking. I know that I missed a few. Today is a bit of a weird kind of sloppy, extreme, ugly weather type day. So I'm kind of talking kind of fast so I don't miss any of the warnings or anything like that we have going on around us. Um, well, I do this video because I have been procrastinating on doing this part of the video for a while. But here I am, I'm doing it and it is done. If you guys like this video, please subscribe comment down below i know i probably missed some angles and i know i probably missed some shots so please comment down below the ones that you think i missed the ones you think i should mention next time and tell me what other videos would you like to see me make in the future um and while you're down there commenting please click the subscribe button hit the bell for notification because you're not gonna be you're not gonna know when I post a video if you're not part of the hashtag notification squad Wonderland we are awesome please hit that bell so you get notifications whenever I post new content on this channel and also also while you're down there giving us a thumbs up commenting subscribing hitting the bell and all the other good stuff check out the links in the description below it has a link to all of the gear that I used in this video um, my vlogging gear as well as links to my social medias Facebook Twitter Instagram um, and also a link to my vlogging channel where you get to see all the behind the scenes little stuff that goes on here in lovely lovely Wonderland and my journey through film school and there's also a link in the description for two buddies which is uh, a, which is something that I have an affiliate with affiliate link with as well as Amazon <clears throat> so when you click on the products down below clicking on affiliate link just say um two buddies helps you with tags thumbnails in cards all that good stuff to help you with your YouTube experience so click on it two buddies awesome So also, I am going to start doing live streams at some point. Um, the live streams will be on filmmaking, script writing, whatever, film school. It'll also 
um, just be me talking, having fun, Q&As, doing really silly stuff, maybe even playing a few video games, um, possibly even some giveaways. I don't know yet, but I just know pretty soon I'm going to start doing live streams. Um, I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Please remember with everything going on that you guys are awesome. You guys are brave. You guys are kind. So please continue to be brave, be kind, and be awesome to yourselves and each other. And mwah! Doki doki. Now Wonderland, go out and spread the lovely doki doki. Bye guys. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.